a motivated man may be very strong a motivated man may be very strong but a disciplined man is always unstoppable disciplined man is always unstoppable so therefore i'll say that welcome dreamers this is ravindra thuve faculty at byju's exam prep and i welcome you all to the one more scintillating session of a daily dose and now in this daily dose i brought you a simple mechanism with the animation in a simple particular process name is shaping operation now we'll try to understand now a one mechanism utilized in a shaping operation a name of the mechanism is withworth quick return motion mechanism let's begin the party so when we talk about shaping operation shaping operation is basically a single point cutting tool to generate a flat shape of component now if you closely observe that this is exactly a shaping machine or shaper and single point cutting tool is attached to the tool head and now it is attached to the the ram and it is attached to the some crank mechanism and this is what exactly work piece is attached to the work table now what happens here reciprocating motion is given to the tool that means tool is moving in the forward direction and then the backward direction called as reciprocating motion is given to tool tool is reciprocating when the tool is moving in the forward direction my tool is integrally in contact with work piece and it is performing machining operation it is called as cutting stroke but when the tool is coming back it is the idle stroke my tool is not in contact with work piece and this is called as one complete stroke confirming or consisting of one cutting stroke plus one return stroke one cutting stroke plus one one idle stroke and once the cutting operation is completed now there is a feed has to be given and now here the feed is given to this particular work table and therefore can i say after every stroke my work table has to feed into this direction that is the feed motion is given to work table so which means that a cutting that is called as the reciprocating motion is given to tool and feed motion is given to my work table let's understand this mechanism with a simple particular mechanism i hope so you are understanding let's see that here we are having this particular shaper machine this is the tool this is the work piece held and now my tool is moving in the forward direction that will be a cutting stroke right so tool is moving in the forward direction slowly it will come in contact with work piece performing cutting operation and return will be idle and forward and idle and slowly you observe that there is a feed is given to the work table there is what a feed is given to this particular work table is it understood everybody yes you have so you must have understood this particular drama which comes in the picture right fine so now let's go once again and observe the same drama here right fine what is happening let's see the tool is coming closer to the work piece work piece is stationary now in a forward stroke cutting and the return will be idle stroke forward will be cutting return idle and then feed is motion feed motion is given to work table feed motion is given to work table right fine now it has to be understand that sir when the cutting takes place my tool is in contact with work piece so my tool has to move with the optimum velocity optimum velocity but when the tool is returning to the original position the tool is not in contact with work piece and there is no machining operation so therefore tool has to come with a faster velocity to save the time of machining operation and therefore in you know, a one complete crank rotation one complete rotation of that crank can i say forward velocity of the tool should be optimum but return velocity should be high and this has to be achieved this has to be achieved by one mechanism it is called as withworth quick return motion mechanism so therefore to get the variable speed of the ram the even though the crank is rotating with a constant speed crank will rotate with what constant rpm but in a one crank rotation one crank rotation my tool in the forward rotation moves with a very optimum velocity and return stroke will be coming with very high velocity and that mechanism utilized is nothing but called as what withworth quick return motion mechanism used in what crank and the ram and how exactly it is happening it is happening that in a one rotation of that crank the forward stroke the tool will move slowly in the forward stroke but in return stroke it will come down with a very high speed and you can easily understand from this particular animation can i say that forward stroke is what of the return stroke high speed forward stroke very slow a return stroke high speed forward stroke optimum velocity a return stroke with extremely high velocity and this mechanism is nothing but called as what withward quick return motion mechanism you can easily understand in a one complete rotation of crank right one complete rotation of crank my tool is moving in a forward stroke with optimum velocity and return stroke with what with very high velocity and based on that there is one ratio is developed it is called as what quick return quick return ratio quick return ratio the quick return ratio is exactly equal to exactly equal to i'll say that cutting time cutting velocity cutting velocity divided by divided by velocity during the return can i say return velocity will be always greater than cutting velocity return velocity always greater than the 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 cutting velocity 
the quick return ratio will be always less than 1. Always what? Less than 1. I hope so. You must stop enjoy this particular concept. Keep sharing. Keep liking. Thank you.